What's up everybody, Gundam Flexing here, and today we're going to be unboxing Kotobukiya's ARX-8 Leviathan repackaged version. Now this is Kotobukiya's, so it's important not to get it confused between Bandai's Full Metal Panic version. Now this specific model came out in June of 2018, and the average price runs roughly around $45. However, at the time of this video, you could find this kit for around $22 online. One thing about this Vox that I particularly noticed is that it is roughly the size of a master grade box. It's actually bigger than what most of the images on the internet makes it look like. But this is the front of the box art, and if we check out the side of the box, we can see all the cool features. So here, on the side of the box, you can see that there is a normal version and then there is a driver version. So essentially you got the front and rear view of the normal version and of course likewise for the driver version. Um, biggest differences that I could tell right off the bat is the shoulders and the knees are going to be much bigger. That's it. Especially on the sides whereas this one just has a hook for a shoulder. Here is a front image of his weapon, so he does have a machine gun. You can see the flares coming out of his head on the back. And of course you have some sort of RPG type bazooka weapon mounted on his back. If we look on the opposite end, we can see the optional parts, which of course is for the driver version. So of course we see the weapon system here, we see the bazooka system here. It's not quite clear because of the image. We also have two daggers as well, and a lot of interchangeable hands. So this is the view completed, and it's cool because it says sample photo of unpainted kit, so what you see is literally what you get. Now if we open the box here, the first bag is Pretty much two runners, and we can see how big the weapon system is here. We got the bazooka. It even comes with its own separate uh, ammunition clips for the guns. This is it. The guns look very simple. It looks like it's just like a left piece, right piece, and you slap it together. And of course, you have some other pieces here that constitutes the hands. A bunch of hand pieces. We look at the second bag, this is mostly white, and it pretty much is just like his uh, periphery items and limbs. Here. And this is a third bag which is very small and it's pretty much the red piece, so obviously these are the shoulders right here. I'm assuming these are also shoulders or they might be on the feet. And you have a second runner on the back. And you also have pretty much a fourth small bag, which is all red. And this piece right here where my thumb is at, that is obviously for his shoulders, for his driver version. So maybe these bags are separated and these runners are separated by whichever version you choose to use. This is another small bag and there are two more to go. Uh, this is again white pieces mixed in with black pieces and obviously this is going to be his collar and I think this is going to probably be his backpack or something to help him mount his weapon. Second to last bag, here it is, a lot of small runners. These two runners in the same bag are identical, I can tell you that right now. And finally the last bag. Looks like you have a lot of uh, PC caps mixed in with some other weapons. So here you have a dagger. It looks like you also have his dagger holster or his sheath. Here it is again, identical runners in the same bag. Ooh, I'm sorry. It has two more little small bags and they are connected to each other and these are it. This is the only orange piece that is in the kit, so it's most likely going to be part of his helmet. 
And then you also have a couple of PC caps right here as well. So a lot of small bags. Oh, this is cool. And this is the flames that shoot out on the back of his head. That's actually really neat. And it looks like even his eyes, even his eyes doesn't require a sticker, but it is a single piece in of itself, which I think is pretty damn cool. And uh, once I start building this thing, I could see more on what it's like. But it's very small. I think it's phenomenal that it comes in its own little bag and that it's like its own separate piece. Because sometimes putting on eyes on Gunpla could be a bitch. This. And now we can move on to the pamphlet. This pamphlet is actually pretty cool. Almost look like they add like small lines in front of it, so it looks like it's like watching it through a glass window or something. Assembly instructions is a booklet. So here is pretty cool. So he does have grenades. This thing does come with grenades. So it's anti-tank daggers, and he has a mono molecular cutter. Again, a, a bazooka, which they call a demolition gun, and it looks like a machine gun as well. So yeah, this guy comes pretty decked out. Uh, this is how many runners really covers the entire page, and that's a lot. But remember, it's just mostly small pieces, so smaller runners. Here are the instructions. The instructions are very straightforward, a little bit different in design than Bandai's. Yeah, just like a book, so this page actually extends out. So talk about the weapon systems. The weapon systems seem a little basic, um, just looking at like uh, box number 33, how it's just like two massive pieces slapped together and you add a little smaller pieces. But we'll see when I start building this. Uh, what is about this? Tells you how to mount the weapons into his hands. Tells you that you could change out the barrels or at least switch them around. How to mount the weapons into his hands. And then the coloring guide. Right there. Ah, so it's not a machine gun. It looks like it's a shotgun. But again, we'll see. And that's it for the unboxing. And this is what the pamphlet looks like front and back, which is uh, pretty neat. This is pretty sick. That's all I have for this unboxing video. What I really think is cool is these eyes. I Man, that just blows my mind. I wish Bandai did that more often. And it comes with a ton of runners, but luckily these runners are small and they are identical to each other. So. The instructions probably have a lot of uh, repeated instructions to just repeat the, uh, repeat the limbs over and over, which isn't too bad, but sometimes it does get a little monotonous. If you have any questions or comments, please post it down in the section below. Remember, at the time of this video, you could find this kit for roughly around half the price of what it's selling generally like on eBay and the other big hobby websites. And this is like a extra page. but. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys in a speed build video. Peace out.